Uh, my dad used to take me hunting, trapping, fishing, you name it. The tables have turned and it's fun for me to take him. So well, he's a very picky guy. Finding that one that he'd like to shoot could be tough. If we can get this done, it's probably gonna be probably the biggest deer my dad's shot. Rolling Bones TV is proud to salute our sponsors. Kershaw Knives, there's nothing like a Kershaw. Arms Corps Ammunition, the official ammo of Rolling Bones Outfitters. My Realtree Max One Camo, for all the places deer and antelope roam. Montana Rifle Company, the official partner in creating the extended range, extreme weather custom Rolling Bones rifle system, the most accurate in hunting today. The Lodge at Deadwood Gaming Resort, elevate your experience. And by Rolling Bones Outfitters. Be sure to sign up today for exclusive member benefits, including discounts on hunts and merchandise. Log on to rollingbonesoutfitters.com. What do you want me to do? Uh, just shorter, I suppose. A barber shop is one of the oldest barber shops in the Black Hills for sure. And uh, my dad's been a barber for 46. He's retired now, still helps out. Not too short. Oh, geez. Come on. That's way but, too uh, I changed it a couple years, years ago to Mark's old school barber shop. We still do the old technique of uh, what barbers do cutting hair uh, clipper over comb. We're still old school, but we're a couple younger barbers in there, Amos and I, and yeah, I, I definitely recommend having a hunting license if you come into our shop. You'll probably get a little bit better haircut. I had a patient come in one day and he said, hey, I just left, left the barber shop and I was looking around at the walls and, and it would give a PETA person a headache. They would need therapy after they left that place, huh? Our price range and our price board. If you want quality, you gotta pick the mullet. These are, these have never lost style. They've always been here and, and people just love them, but they're very expensive. They're classics. <laughs> I, I've never gotten one of the five, $500 mullet cuts. I'm gonna, uh, yeah, I'm gonna reserve that for uh, Brian. <laughs> what? A little better than what your girlfriend did last time you don't have that. <laughs> it's located right downtown Spearfish, Main Street. And uh, I tell you what, Spearfish is a go-to town and people are seeing it more and more that don't live here, outside of here, that want to come here. It's a great place. But anybody that moves into this town within weeks knows that, you know, Mark and Mark are like, they are, they're iconic in the hunting industry here and there's no bigger advocates for outdoorsmen than Mark and his dad. And I tell you what, they just live the lifestyle and great hunters, great people. And Mark Sr. has built an unbelievable outdoorsman in his son. Um, ever since I could walk, I've been running the trap line with him and hunting. And handling guns and, and bows have been part of my life. So got to say definitely dad, he's, he's the, he's the go-to guy and he's, he's been there for me through everything. The tables have turned over the years. Uh, my dad used to take me and hunting, trapping, fishing, you name it, anything in the outdoors, he's, he's taught me. And so, like I said, the tables have turned and I actually get more time out in the field and it's fun for me to scout and get things prepared for him and take him. So this was a real special trip like they all are, but I had a day in advance to find him a good mule deer. So I promise you one thing, we will be back here in the morning, so, but there's a lot of stuff going on, lots of deer, so it's going to be good, real good. Welcome to 
the new ACI. Every family has a heritage. Ours is making ammo. Our company is moving forward. ACI is growing just like our family. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Production is what keeps the company running. Inspecting, packaging. Quality pretty much lands on us. Visit m1morestore.com or stop by the store in Stevensville, Montana. Thank you, troops. I'm Mark Cassavan. For additional scenes, stuff way too crazy for TV. These work, take the butcher's word for it. Caribou game bags. If your guide don't work for you, the bag sure will. <laughs> Go to RollingBonesOutfitter.com and click on the YouTube icon and subscribe today. <laughs> don't touch me. <laughs> You know, the coolest thing for me as a father is to go hunt with my son. And I can't wait for that day where my son takes me hunting with him. This is a cool, cool thing. So Mark Jr. and Mark Sr. are together hunting this time. The tables have turned over the years. Uh, my dad used to take me hunting, trapping, fishing, you name it. And it's fun for me to scout and get things prepared for him and take him. So this was a real special trip like they all are, but I had a day in advance to find him a good mule deer. Well, I'm pretty excited here. Uh, just stopped and grabbed the camera. Um, amazing just driving here this morning. Uh, it's a, almost the middle of November and there's unbelievable deer activity. I've seen over 25 bucks just in the last 20, 25 miles. Uh, they're rutting. Uh, seen one whitetail with a horn broke off. So this is going to be an awesome, awesome day and an awesome couple days hunting here. Uh, back at a friend's place couple days my dad's coming over he's got a Wyoming tag I got a Montana tag so we're gonna be hunting the border and uh, we'll have a tag for each side so that's gonna be fun got the old sidekick Van Helsing with us Mike's filming this uh, next couple days and uh, Mike's a new new camera guy we just kind of been getting him in and training him the last couple years and uh, does a great job he listens and he's got an eye for it we hunted here last year we're just gonna see if we can find something. Van's really pumped up and excited as you can see. He's a really, really good spotting dog. He can spot mule deer from a long ways away. So that's what we brought him for. Hey Mark, give the glasses to Van Helsing. His little demon eyes are way better than yours. At, right now, I'm trying trying to make him a set of binoculars because he's got great eyes, but I'm making a prototype mini binoculars about this big for him. He, right now, he can spot them good, but he just he needs some optics. I don't shoot rabbits. You're going to have to custom fit a binocular strap for Van Helsing with his massive shoulders, though. What? <laughs> He's got four inch shoulders. He's got some mass. Awesome buck. Six by six. He's got three on his backs, which is pretty impressive. He's not that wide, but he's a he's a good deer. Really good. Mature five, six year old. There's uh, three, three bobcats, that was awesome. About 100 yards from us, there was three of them over there. Yep. Checking us out. Bobcats, at your age, Mark, you sure you're not seeing cougars? Whatever. Well, 
as it looks, we're uh, in the truck quite a bit. Um, seen a couple good bucks, a couple, two mature bucks. Um, tall and kind of spindly buck we just seen, four by four. He's got small fronts, big backs, but lots of deer. And we've seen some good mule there, but nothing that I knew my dad would shoot. Like I said, he hasn't shot a big mule, mule deer in years, so he's a very picky guy. And if he doesn't see something he wants, he doesn't shoot because he can just hunt more. And I've learned that from him. If you don't pull the trigger, you can always hunt tomorrow. That's one extra day. Well, we just spotted a big mule deer here in Wyoming. And uh, we don't know exactly how big. He's, he's over a mile away. Big, mature buck. He's all alone, which is a great sign. We got a good look at him. Look at him in a spot in scope. Looks like a nice one. Gonna try to get up on him. Rolling Bones TV is proud to salute our sponsors. Kershaw Knives, there's nothing like a Kershaw. Arms Corps Ammunition, the official ammo of Rolling Bones Outfitters. My Realtree Max One Camo, for all the places deer and antelope roam. Montana Rifle Company, the official partner in creating the extended range, extreme weather custom Rolling Bones rifle system, the most accurate in hunting today. The Lodge at Deadwood Gaming Resort, elevate your experience and by Rolling Bones Outfitters. Be sure to sign up today for exclusive member benefits including discounts on hunts and merchandise. Log on to RollingBonesOutfitters.com Getting our pad ready. Pretty bald head, what do you have to say about that? Oh. One thing about being bald, I'm pretty positive that it's going to come back someday. Uh, you never trust, you never trust a skinny cook. You never trust a starving butcher. And you never trust a bald barber. Just hope your hair comes back. That's all I'm doing. That's all I can do is be a positive person, have a positive attitude, you know, hard work, be good to people, someday I might have an afro. That's my, that's my goal. Oh my God. It'll be great to see you with hair. Well, my pop-up, I've had a couple pop-ups, but this one is uh, the old cat's meow. Oh gosh, I'm good. That's what I do. Look at that forearm. Oh, yeah. Like really? Four-year-old guns would look like that. Most people are like, oh, check out my house, pimp my house, oh, check out my joint. It's awesome. My place is sweet. This is the place. Everything's automatic. You don't have to do anything. Check this out. Everything's digital and automatic. What? Have you noticed he just entertains himself at all? I mean, have you noticed that? Mark just entertains himself all the time. Oh, oh, oh! Envy? Yeah. Eat it up. This is my crib. This is how I do it. What do you think? Hey, yeah, I think Mark's been glassing way too long. Left, uh, left the pop-up out there, and we proceeded to go back and look for a big mule deer. This is a familiar place that I've hunted. I actually missed that big six by six here um, that first weekend. All right, we've been, 
figuring out how to try to get to this buck and it's going to be fairly easy the wind's going to be right but we're just hoping after we get close enough it's not one of those do that jump up and bolt one of the ones that jump up and stand broadside that's what we're hoping for but we're going to creep up here a few hundred yards about 250 uh, 250, 300, and then kind of creeping another 60, 70 yards. So we're gonna get on it, and he's a good deer. He's got six on each side. Pretty exciting. You know the trees under. All right. I think we're just gonna be able to get right to that fence post. So I'm gonna try to shoot him off my bipods. What do you say? What do you say? Uh, pretty much did everything perfect. And uh, deer wouldn't get up. He held super tight. And like we were wondering if he was going to get up and bolt or get up and stand. As soon as he got up, he turned and ran. Um, kind of had a butt shot, which is not uh, something that you want to do. And he got a little bit turned to the left. And, and um, it ran into our private, so that's a plus. So that deer's not, uh, he's not out of, out of reach by any of us. So we'll try to find him. If not, we got some other deer we've been looking at, but what do you say? You said you wanted a good muley. Yeah. Nice buck. Wow. Big old body booger. Good for you, Dad. Rolling Bones Outfitters, a company created by hunters for hunters. Let us help you find your next outdoor adventure. Contact us at Rolling Bones Outfitters. We match the hunter to the hunt. You can feel it as soon as you step inside the lodge at Deadwood Gaming Resort. There's a distinctive sound and it draws you in. Machines light up everywhere you turn. Excited crowds gather around the tables and undeniable energy gets your blood pumping and intrigues you. Makes you want more. Makes you want to see if tonight is your night. Will you try your luck at your favorite slot machine or sit down for a few hands of blackjack? It's your move and it's waiting for you at the lodge at Deadwood Gaming Resort. So, went back into town that night, left the pop-up out there, dropped Mike off, stayed the night at home, and uh, picked up Dad in the morning, and we proceeded to go back and look for a big mule deer. I told my dad right away that we seen a lot of deer, just nothing that I thought he'd shoot. Um, one big mature deer with some kickers, but real narrow, and my, like I said, my dad's real picky, so I didn't think he'd shoot that one. So. I told him we'd see a bunch of deer and have a lot of fun, but finding that one that he'd like to shoot could be tough. I got it in there right now. That's a buck. Well, we just spotted a big mule deer here in Wyoming, and uh, we don't know exactly how big. He's, he's over a mile away, and uh, Dad and I are going to get up and get around and uh, get a better eye on him. He looks like a big, mature buck. He's all alone, which is a great sign. What do you think? Go get a closer look? Yeah, let's go get a closer look. Doing about a half mile sneak on this deer. We're gonna close the distance. It looks like a pretty good one. Okay, we're gonna make a move on 
this buck. It should be right over this hill over here. We got a good look at him. Look at him in his bottom scope. Looks like a nice one. I'm gonna try to get up on him. If we can get this done, it's probably gonna be probably the biggest deer my dad's shot. If this is the biggest deer his dad's gonna shoot, that's saying something. You gotta like it when they're alone. That means they're big and lazy and wise. So, big, lazy, wise. I thought Mark was talking about himself for a second. <laughs> Whatevs. And we are on our way to close the distance. Okay, lay down. Get to the. See nothing on the creek as good as him. One was heavier, but he was super, super narrow. He was 16 inches wide. I think if we can get a good shot at him, take him. Okay. Boy, tipped him right over. Got her done there. He's wired. Got her done is right. Wow. Good job, guys. Nice shot. <laughs> Good shot. I think he's down. <laughs> he's down, man. Yeah, Good shot, nice. Dad. Yeah. Good shot. Jeez, this gun shoots good. Holy cow. Wow. Big old body booger. Good for you, Dad. Nice buck. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, his forks in front are good. Nice yeah. Buck. Really nice Great deer. Hunt. Big old body, huh? Yeah. Just had an unbelievable hunt. We were looking for a good mule deer. Spotted him from over a mile away. And uh, this is what it produced. So we had an awesome afternoon of hunting. Dad make a smoking shot on it. So here we are. We're pumped. We're glad. Uh, we're going to get him loaded up in the truck. And uh, we are out of here. So what a great day. Yeah. Good job, Dad. Thank you. Yeah. It's definitely in the top five of the biggest deer my dad shot. He shot a few very comparable. What a great trophy deer. I mean, and not only that, to shoot a deer like that and to film it, uh, father and son deal, that's a real treat. Same with, with authority. We got more hunts coming. Do it over so the deer in your face. <laughs> you have trouble or what? Just get Stay tuned for more Rolling Bones TV. We got plenty more hunts coming. Go. Yeah. I'm waiting for you to say it. Your shooting's been great, Dad, but the TV technique needs a little work. To book a hunting adventure like you saw today, go to rollingbonesoutfitters.com and click on Book a Hunt and start building your trip of a lifetime.